Hey, I'm Christina Tosi from Milk Bar, and I'm gonna teach you how to make one of our baller naked layer cakes like a pro. At Milk Bar, we don't frost the sides of them because my perspective is that I spend so much time thinking about the flavors and the layers and how we're building them up into a perfect bite. That seems like a real bummer to cover them with frosting. And to be clear, I'm probably the world's biggest frosting fan. The formula of the cake is very regimented. You have to start with the flavor of cake itself. There's always a cake soak. We always have two spreadable fillings and one textural filling. We put the easier to spread filling down first, and then we put the textural layer down, and then the next spreadable filling, and then you do that all over again. And then you get to choose what you want to put on top, and then you decorate. We plot out the rounds of our cake, knowing that we want three layers of cake. You want one beautiful round of cake. You're gonna save that round for your top. You want one pretty nice round of cake. You're gonna save that for the middle. The bottom layer really does not have to be a perfect round. So we make two semicircles, and we're gonna use those sort of scraps as the base of our cake. The way to really set yourself up for success, you have a beautifully smooth exterior of that cake and it makes you look like a super duper pro is to use something within this ring to help provide structure and smoothness. We do that by using acetate. So we go and take those two half circles and we push them to the outer boundaries of the cake ring. And then we take some of these beautiful little cake scraps that we have left over and we use them to fill in the middle. The next thing we do is we soak the cake. I have a strong belief that anything that's liquid and has flavor can be a cake soak. So for this cranberry gingerbread cake, we're gonna use cranberry juice, and it's going to infuse flavor into the cake and infuse moisture into the cake. We always have two spreadable fillings and one textural filling. So for this cranberry gingerbread cake, our first spreadable filling is a cranberry sauce. That cranberry sauce or cranberry jam goes down. Next up, the textural layer, pie crumbs just meant to be a nice pop of flavor and texture unexpectedly in your layer cake. Now we're up to our next spreadable layer, which is this pie crumb frosting. It will naturally want to pull up a little bit. I like to think about making figure eights with my strangely bent spoon. That's typically what helps keep all the filling down. So we're gonna use our second most beautiful round for the middle layer. If you have any spaces where you can see the last layer of filling coming up, you can always take some of your cake scrap and nestle that into the edge. So, second layer of cakes down. We're gonna do the cranberry juice for cake soak. We're gonna throw some cranberry sauce into the mix. We're gonna do our textural layer of pie crumbs pie frosting. Remember, we're gonna take that beautiful round. That's gonna be the top of our cake. I like to give it a tap down with the back of my hand to make sure it's really in place because we're depending on that pie frosting to be the glue. What we choose to go on top matters as the frosting. And that's really about the visual nature of it and it's about the overall like perfect bite balance of flavor flavor profile. What you really need on top is some cream cheese frosting. Think about like a gingerbread house. We're gonna use that same cream cheese frosting as the top layer of our cake. And then it's all about how you decorate the cake. So we make a cranberry milk crumb. It's our signature milk crumb, but we take a little freeze dried cranberry and fold that in at the last minute. And then we take this cake, we essentially put it in the freezer for three to five hours, sometimes overnight. What that's gonna do is it's gonna set all the fillings of our cake so that they're nice and firm. On day two, you take the cake ring off the top. Super easy to slide because we have that trusty acetate. And then you go to peel the acetate off. That's it, our cranberry gingerbread layer cake. Now I know I didn't teach you how to make each one of these little elements, but you can find the links for each one of these recipes below. There's no reason why you can't have one of these bad boys at your upcoming holiday event. Make it at home, buy it in one of our stores, or ship it to you online, milkbarstore.com. Click here for more savvy videos. And don't forget to subscribe.